the red carpet was full of hot couples. One of the biggest accessories to have on the night is a gorgeous girl on your arm. So let's start with Jennifer Aniston and Justin Theroux. She was wearing a red dress on the red carpet. Is that a good idea? I want Bogey and Bacall not looking like you shop at McCall's. And what about his beard? I mean, do all the guys have to have that there? Hair on the face now? I like a little facial hair. I think it's I really handsome, but his maybe is a little too long. It looks a little lazy. It doesn't look like he did anything to it. He didn't prune it up or swing by. A little West Virginia. Yeah. I agree. I think it's a little too undone for something like the Oscars. Well, what we've seen in my profession, cosmetic surgery, we've seen an influx of men now because they're getting more in tuned. Well, everybody knows about manscaping, yeah? Mm -hmm. And the manimals are now coming in to look better. To look better. Before it was, I'd rather buy a new pair of um, set of tires for my car. Now it's gone to, I want to look good for my woman. And if they're with an actress, they want to look good. They want to look like a couple that go together. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing more of little lipo procedures. Um, we're seeing treatment of, if they're acne scars, lines and wrinkles mm -hmm. with uh, Juvederm, Restylane. We're also seeing Botox used to take five, six years off. That's what a lot of people did on that red carpet, I'm telling you right now. What do we think about Salma Hayek and her man, uh, Francois Pinot? Do you think he's had some work to keep up with how gorgeous she is? That's a really good question about Salma Hayek, and she's with a man who's much older. Mm -hmm. uh, Celine Dion is another one, mm -hmm. a man much older. Yeah. They don't match physically necessarily, mm -hmm. but maybe they do spiritually and intimately right. and maybe that that's a look that works for them not everybody needs to have cosmetic surgery is my point i'm leaving <laughs> <laughs> it's like a real housewives reunion yeah. He's Ramona. exactly it's like a real housewives reunion it's okay. like a real housewives yeah. and he's Ramona. <laughs> these two project one yeah. thing and it's rich they're that's rich. It. Right. That's it. rich, god damn it. He that he's ginger. He's rich. He's rich. He's <laughs> richer than rich. I actually. like it. He's yeah. rich. But that dress, a little too gilded. Seriously. <laughs> it looked like the sequel to Queen of the Damned, and Aaliyah still does, so somebody got to do it. <laughs> she looks really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah it looks you know? like she didn't look, She's a hot mm -hmm. woman, yeah. oh, but she looks very misguided. It's you very it easy to go down the costume route when right. you're doing so Absolutely. much. And it looked costumey. It looked like a period piece. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus, she has such a beautiful neck and decollete. Mm -hmm. And yeah, usually, she, she features the breasts. Yes, yeah, I mean, she this does. This is one of the first times she didn't have them tatas out. Dr. Barnes, do people do things to their decollete as well, or is that usually sure. a safe area? Oh. Sure. Uh, peels. Mm -hmm. You can do photofacials for brown spots and mild mm -hmm. wrinkles. Everyone's heard about photofacials. Uh, and again, the light chemical peels can do a whole lot, and even microdermabrasion can do a whole lot too if you don't want to do something where you're going to heal for a week or two. Another thing with the decollete, I don't know if you do this, but a lot of clients want to wear necklaces, and I don't mm -hmm. typically love a necklace unless it's more of a neck piece. So a lot of times we'll replace a necklace with a little makeup on the decollete, mm -hmm. and then it kind of glows just as a necklace would in that area. And mm -hmm. A little she bit should of have shimmer. Well, she should have gotten that Would you agree that. that usually it's either the necklace or the earrings Absolutely. versus both? Yeah. yeah. Usually it takes away if you have both. So One or the other, or a little stud. A little stud, if you're gonna exactly. Do a if you're gonna do a big statement Speaking of necklace. a statement necklace, this bitch is wearing a door knocker. It looks like it came off a... Bob Cratchit's door. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, so we have Deborah Lee Furness and Hugh Jackman up Ooh. next. Now, I think that she's been a little bit upset in the past because she's been accused of being his beard. In the past, oh. you mean yesterday? Oh, uh, it didn't help she's quite upset. Well, she's wearing pants. It didn't help. No, it doesn't help, does it? <laughs> didn't help. Are they one of those couples man. when they're both gay and they pretend they're not so they could have kids and a happy life? You mean like Will Smith and uh, <laughs> Jada, Jada Pinkett? Oh. oh, sorry. We cannot them. talk about anyone here because well, Damone knows everybody. <laughs> Damone is All I want to say is that I think that Hugh Jackman is so dreamy. Yeah, I, I mean, he's an amazing talented guy. Very talented as well. And a yeah. nice guy, I understand. I haven't met him. Nice guy. Yeah, he's no, very nice. No, I've heard that he's lovely. And I actually don't think that she's his beard. I think they're the real deal. And they've adopted lots of children. Mm. I think they're very oh, happy. Oh, they've job. adopted. Oh. oh, how convenient. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think the beard intones that she's in on it. And the rumors have, that mill has been grinding lately. Really? Yeah, girl. You've got some inside info? Maybe. With you? <gasps> I'd be so jealous if that was true. Do you hear the people? <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you have a crush on Channing Tatum, too? I do. I met him Who once doesn't? when I was doing Rock of Ages. His old roommate was in it or something. He was really, really nice. And he looked gorgeous last night with his beautiful He's an pregnant amazing, wife. amazing, the nice guy. Actually, I actually had the pleasure of working with Channing and his beautiful wife, Jenna, for the Oscars. <gasps> and beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And again, just such cool, nice, sincere people. They're enjoying this this ride, yeah. you know, the whole process. And I agree with you, Shannon's 
very hot, mm -hmm. very hot. And I like that he's like pushing himself more and more with his role choices, and right. he's just a good, solid actor and like mm -hmm. a good man. That's the kind of man and he's you want. He's having fun, you know, mm -hmm. throughout the whole process. Yeah, I can show like him guy. Fun. He's not ashamed of his past, mm -hmm. and she loves him. I've worked with her before as yeah. well, Aww. and she's. It's like going over next door to dress your best friend. You know, she's like so she's grateful for it. Best. She's such an easy, Absolutely great person who loves him so much. And they're a cute couple. And well, I'm so happy he knocked adorable. her because they need to make a baby so we can pimp it out to all <laughs> the lovers. You know, they need a baby. To everyone else, right? They need, a, they need to have a son so when I have a daughter, she can marry him. Because <laughs> if I don't get Channing, at least my daughter could have a son. <laughs> baby, right? And there always has to be one pregnant woman on the red carpet at the Oscars, mm -hmm. doesn't there? There'd be something missing if we didn't. We had Catherine Zeta-Jones one year, pregnant. Right, right, right. I think uh, coming with yeah. anybody else now. Did, didn't Beyonce go fake pregnant last year? Is she fake pregnant? <laughs> She's in hiding. You know, the moment works for her too. I do work with Beyonce too. Uh, and she was really pregnant. I'm saying it for everyone to hear and know officially. She was very, very pregnant. I want to see the stretch marks. <laughs> oh. She's They're a gone star. already. She doesn't have Even stretch if they marks. Have yeah. yeah. I love the fact that Jenna, although she was pregnant, she didn't go the traditional pregnant dress route. She wore a tight dress. It still looks really sexy and, and hot. And she still and I think wore black, which is yeah. slimming and cool, I but know, it had a cool, like, the, it was still sexy with the nude undertone. Absolutely mm -hmm. agree. It's so great because they're a different generation. They're a lot younger than a lot of other celebrities there. And they realize the importance of good eyebrows. And I tell all my mm. girls and guys that eyebrows are literally the single most important underestimated feature on the face because ah. it's almost like a five minute facelift. You know, it's quick, it adds balance and structure. And um, Channing and Jenna and Quite a few others on that red carpet really realized the importance of that. Mm. So I was glad to be a part of that. And I like that five minute facelift. Is that okay yeah. if I steal that you from can steal you? That. You I know really what's so funny? Like I always use the analogy of the Disney fairy tales. For example, Snow White is the young, pretty one, and she has full eyebrows, and the evil witch has thin eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Our Cinderella has full eyebrows, and her stepsisters have thin eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And the reason they do that is because it makes that big of a difference. Just by the eyebrows, it changes the character of the face. You pay a lot it of attention. It sure does. I like it. Yeah. yeah, but full brows are really in right now. Full brows are definitely the thing right now. Yeah, definitely. throw away your tweezers or? You need to still keep them shaped. <laughs> but, you know, we want to keep them a little fuller versus the pencil thin. Or just get a Michelle Obama bang. <laughs> Bye. That's what you Or a Willem bang. Bye, right? 15 minute face. <laughs> Be natural, don't cover yourself up with makeup. I just applaud what? her all round. <laughs> Sorry, Willem. <laughs> I'm sure Dr. Barnes isn't I happy about that. pale skin because it keeps them in business when people are tanning, right? Uh, kind of, <laughs> yeah, but that's, that is definitely the movement. <laughs>